So here is the kettlebell bracing and breathing. So to start out, I'm going to have a kettlebell right in my stomach here. And that kettlebell is going to sink right into my stomach. I'm going to actually let it relax. Initially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to brace my abs, almost like I'm going to do a crunch. So when I brace my abs, that kettlebell should initially rise up. So that's that first rise that you'll see. I'm going to keep my abs tight. And then I'm going to breathe inside the brace. So I'm going to breathe inside my tight abs, and I'm going to rise in the kettlebell up just a little bit more. Here's the wide stance bird dog. I'm going to have my knees out wider than my shoulders. I'm going to have my abs nice and tight, and I want to prevent as much side-to-side -side translation of weight as I can as I reach out opposite arm, opposite leg. Here's smashing and reaching of the pec. So I'm going to take a little cross ball and I'm going to pin it right in my pec, kind of right on that tendon spot where it gets into the shoulder. I'm going to pull myself into the rack, creating as much pressure as I can into my pec, and I'm going to reach up nice and slow 10 times. Okay, so now the smashing and reaching of the trap is just like the smashing and the reaching of the pec, but now I'm pinning my upper trap and I'm pulling myself into that rack, reaching up overhead 10 times. Here's the band pull part. So in the band pull part, I'm gonna keep my arms straight, my wrist straight, and my knuckles straight the whole time. I'm gonna pull the band apart, and as I pull the band apart, I'm gonna retract my shoulder blades back, like I'm trying to pinch a dollar between my shoulder blades. And here's a good back view here. For, so for the banded dislocators, I'm gonna create a little bit of tension on the band, like I'm gonna do a band pull apart, and then I'm gonna go overhead, around my back to my butt and then back around to my chest. You should feel a pretty big pec stretch here. The whole time you also want to keep your abs braced and tight. Here's the kettlebell internal external rotation. You're going to hold the kettlebells like you're going to do a farmer walk, gripping it nice and tight and you're going to go into full internal rotation of the shoulders and then full external rotation of the shoulders pinching the shoulder blades back on that external rotation. Here's barbell T-spine extensions. You're going to have that barbell right on your upper back there. You're going to sit your butt on the floor, actually have your abs nice and tight, and you're going to extend back trying to get your head to the ground as close as you can, also still keeping those abs tight. As you extend back, you also want to try to give yourself a big full exhale so you can get as much upper back extension as you can. Here's banded tricep extensions. You're gonna set up a band around a, uh, a rack or a pull-up bar here. You're gonna pinch your elbows to your side and you're gonna fully extend your elbows, squeezing your triceps as much as you can. So here's the tall kneeling med ball chest past the wall. I'm, my, I'm on my knees on a pad. I'm gonna push off my feet and try to throw that med ball into the wall as hard as I can.